Today we're going to have a look at some ways to lay out content in Dreamweaver. So right now I've created a new just by going file new and getting a blank page in Dreamweaver and I've already added these blocks, they're called layers. If you go to the layout bar on your menu system, if you're using CS3 this would be at the top but I'm using CS4 and underneath that there is an option to draw an AP div. Now, that allows us to visualise and place in elements within our website. So within those layers, which I can move around, similar to a text box in Word, and I can type in there, I can add pictures, anything that I want really. Now, with that, that actually, if I preview this, first of all I have to save it, and I'm going to save it as index because I'm going to save it over the top of one of my original ones. If I preview that, in here, here it is in Safari, you'll notice that you can't see the outlines of these particular pages. You can only see the text that's been placed there. So there's no border around those. It's only what's actually in there that gets shown. Now what I'm going to do if I select it, and by selecting I click on the top, uh, square there and I'm going to go down here to background colour and I'm going to change the background colour. Now this one here I actually want the same colour so what I'm going to do is make sure that I have it selected. Notice how the toolbar down the bottom changes depending on what you have selected. And I'm going to go down the bottom here to background colour and rather than trying to remember what the hex code is or trying to remember which grey I picked, I'm just going to drag it up here and pick it up from here. Now, that makes it really easy for setting out visually what your website's going to look like. But we're going to add some other elements. So I'm going to have some navigation here. Doesn't matter what it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this navigation and I'm going to change the font. Because at the moment it's a serif font, probably times, and serif fonts aren't the best for reading on the web. Generally sans serif fonts are much better for reading online. So what I'm going to do is come down to my properties here and I'm going to change the font. Now there are only about five or six standard fonts for using on the internet. So if you spend hours trying to do a beautiful fancy heading, generally you'll find when you go to another computer that heading won't actually exist anymore or it'll just default back to Arial. Now one way you can get around this is if you want for your headings, if you want to use particular fonts then you can put them in pictures rather than um, typing it in as text. You don't really want to do that for paragraph fonts however because the paragraphs add to your search engine indexing and it's very important what the content of your page is. Pictures can't get read by Google, text can. Now what um, Dreamweaver will actually give you is a list of fonts. So here um, I'm going to go to this one and what will happen is if I have Vedana on my machine or on the viewer's machine then it's going to show Vedana, if not Geneva, if not then there's a sans serif font. So basically it gives us a list of allowing um, what font, what preferences of fonts we're going to have. Here I'm going to hit OK. Don't worry too much about that unless you want to code some CSS later. And you'll notice that my fonts have changed. Now, other things you can do, you can insert pictures. So if I go across to the insert menu again and you go down to common, up to common, sorry, and you find images, so I can insert an image here. Now, I don't have any images in my folder here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across to my pictures folder, of which I know there are tons and tons of pictures, and I'm going to insert the alien here from Toy Story. Now, what it'll ask you is the file is outside the root folder of BOA and may not be accessible when you publish the site. What it's asking you is if you want to copy that picture into your root folder. You always generally want to do this. One of the main reasons why people lose images is because they publish their folder and forget that the images are on their computer. And this is why Dreamweaver is actually a really good program to use because it automatically asks you that. You don't have to think about whether you're going to do it or not. 
So yes, always do it. Um, we do want to type some alternate text because this helps people that have screen readers or people that have their images turned off, which actually happens quite often. And we'll notice that we have a giant huge image that's just been inserted. Now, we can actually shrink that down in Dreamweaver just by using the handles or down in the properties bar here, you can um, resize it and you can um, just change the value of the image there. The problem with that is that what happens when that page loads is that it downloads the entire huge image first and then the browser shrinks it down for you. So a better thing to do would be to actually shrink it down in something like Photoshop and then insert it so you've got a small image. What I'm going to do is show you how to link and we're going to link from this picture. So what we're going to do is just select the picture and down in link you always want to type in HTTP and we're going to www.toystory.com and press enter and that's it, that's now a link. Now sometimes you'll find that when you have a link like that it will give you a blue outline which generally you don't want, they're pretty horrid. So what you want to do is down on the border, on the properties bar, type in zero, and that gets rid of the text box. The same thing you can do with the contact us. For example, I can go here. Now if you find that in your properties there's some things missing in CS4, there is this flicking between HTML and CSS. So any formatting is done in the CSS and anything like linking or any content related stuff is done in HTML. So here I'm going to mail to colon uh, shortcomp at gmail.com and press enter. For a link to your pages that already exist, for example, about, um, about us actually doesn't exist, sorry, um, home exists, so we're going to click on that. Now there's a couple of things you can do, you can type it in there, index.htm and that will link it. You can browse and double click on that, that will link it. Or if you've got your site set up properly, this point to file here is very, very powerful. So if I point to the file that I want it to open, then that will actually link to that particular file. And that's the basics of layers. Now one other thing that you can do, if you want to move a layer forward or backwards, you can change the Z index. So here if I change that to zero, that actually moves that around so that if you look closely here, you can see that those two layers there are on top of that one layer. So that allows you to index the layers according to what order